Hi, I'm Gideon. I'm the art director of the art project of the Ophelia project and we will introduce to you our new project for the year 2014-15. This is a glasswork jewelry that you're going to create for someone else, for your Ophelia sister. Each one of you will receive these pamphlets. This pamphlet shows the project, the name of the project is Creating Community Through Ophelia, as you can see here. It's sponsored by Old Town Artisan Studio, which you will see uh, in a moment. On the first page, it's all about me, which is you, the Ophelia girl. You're going to write your name, your nickname, your school, your three favorite colors, your hobbies, your personality, and your dreams. The more you write, the more information there is for your Ophelia sister to um, create a piece of art for you. Next, we will have Stefania with the studio showing you how to create your art and the whole process of creating. Stefania, thank you so much. Hello. I'm very excited to be part of the Ophelia project this year. I'm going to be introducing a little bit of the glass that we have, and we are going to be creating really beautiful pendants. Here's some really beautiful examples of some of the pieces that have been made at the studio. So you're going to be designing a piece uh, similar to these uh, to match your Ophelia girl that you've been paired with. So uh, a couple things we need to learn about glass first. Um, we're working with 90 COE glass. That means um, coefficient of expansion and contraction. It means I can't go to Home Depot and get some glass to mix with this glass or crush up a bottle and use that glass too. I have to use all of the same 90 COE. A um, couple of things, terms we want to go over. This is a piece of translucent glass. That means I can see through it. This is a piece of opaque glass. That means I'm not going to be able to see through it. So knowing the difference between opaque and translucent is extremely important because we are going to be applying a bale at the end um, once you have created your piece, which means you're picking all your different pieces of glass, different colors, um, stacking them on top of one another, designing your piece, and then they're going to go into a kiln. Um, they're going to go up to about 1400 degrees. That means we are fusing the glass. That's a full fuse. Um, and once your piece comes out of the kiln, you're going to need to apply a bale so that we can hang it from a necklace. So something that's applied to a piece of translucent glass, you're going to be able to see your bale through, as opposed to a piece of opaque glass where you're not going to see the bale. So that's a design choice, totally up to you. We have different types of bales. We have gold as well as silver, so that will also be a de design choice you can um, make. The larger sizes as well as the smaller sizes, so think about how large your piece is and what might go well with it. Um, when we are done designing our piece, which means we're stacking a bunch of pieces of glass on top of one another, we are going to draw out our entire design on our plate. Before we get started, I would like everyone to just write their name, and I'm just going to do mine, first and last, as well as your school and the date. So everyone should start with this, and then we will design our piece, and you will draw your map of your piece right on top of there. So we need first and last name, your school, and the date. That's going to help make sure we get the right piece of glass back to you. So again, we have our opaque glass, our translucent glass. Then we come over here to dichroic. Dichroic is a really kind of fancy glass. It's very shimmery, and it has a man-made coating actually designed by NASA, which I just learned, very cool. Um, and this is extremely expensive, so we are each going to get to choose one piece of this glass to include in our design. We have a black sort of backed dichroic glass, and then we also have a clear dichroic glass. And you're going to, get, again, get to choose one piece of dichroic glass to in incorporate into your design. And I have a nice example of how dichroic was used on a clear piece that has a few more than one. This is called a tack fuse. It means I can still see the volume of the glass. And this is more of a full fuse, which means the pieces have kind of integrated into one another a little more. And this is more similar to what our pieces at Ophelia are going to look like. Again, you can see the shiny piece right there. That's our dichroic. 
and we have a piece of opaque green and opaque black incorporated. I would recommend about three layers of glass high when our, we're designing our pieces. Any more than that, and we might end up with glass that kind of falls over in the kiln or doesn't melt quite correctly. Okay, this is an example of a full fuse. That's a piece, this actually used to be a heart, so that's melted a little bit too much now. And we're not gonna be going quite this high, but this is just an example of a piece that went too high in the kiln. Um, if you are gonna use a piece of black dichroic, it's pretty obvious which way is up. That side's black and that side's shiny. So um, this sort of a shiny coating is going to be a really shimmery, nice look, but if you'd like it to be even shinier, you can put a piece of clear over the top of it and that'll make it really, really bright shine. On the clear dichroic over here, um, you're gonna have to look really closely which way is up. We've got one side that has the coating on it. That's this side up and then the other side which we can see the clear through. It's gonna look shiny on both sides. Doesn't matter which way you put it. If you have the dichroic side facing up, that's just gonna be more of a matte shimmer. And with the clear over the top of it, you're gonna have more of a shiny shimmer, okay? Last couple pieces of glass I wanna introduce. These are called stringers. These are little long pieces of glass and you can use these at the very end, just designing any sort of linear elements you'd like on your piece. And if they're too big, you don't want them hanging off of the piece. They're too skinny and they'll break off afterwards. So you want to just kind of break them down to the size that you need. Okay. Last thing I'm going to introduce, this is frit. This is little chopped up pieces of glass. And you can take just a sprinkle of these. You're going to apply a little bit of glue and you can just kind of sprinkle them onto your piece when you're done. And these come in all types of colors. Next thing we want to do is all of these containers of glass will be pre-cut for you. You're going to um, take your turn, kind of rummage through the different types. I'm going to have a lot of different colors available for you guys. Um, just pick and choose which ones you'd like. Go through, find what looks nice to you. You know, maybe I'll pick those two pieces of opaque colored glass, and then I'll come over here to my dichroic. Your instructor will come around with your dichroic, so you'll make your decision on one piece of dichroic and you come around. So round inch through, find a piece that you like. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Okay. And I just got a piece of black dichroic, so I'm gonna have to skip the clear dichroic, just one piece per girl. And I can come over to my stringers and maybe I'll find a nice, hmm, piece of black that I want to incorporate somehow. There we go. And on this one, I think I'm gonna hold off on the frit. I think that's probably enough. So I'm gonna put those on my plate. I'm gonna walk over to my seat and I'm going to need to now clean all of these pieces of glass. Glass picks up fingers prints like nobody's business. So if I was accidentally rubbing my nose and I went and rummaged through the piece of glass or if anyone else had rubbed their nose and picked up a piece of glass, there's probably oily fingerprints somewhere on this glass. So. I'm going to actually grab myself a paper towel as well as some Windex. And I'm just going to spritz a little bit of the Windex on my paper towel. And I need to wash all these pieces of glass off now. And once you've washed them, make sure you're only holding on to the side of the piece so you're not sticking fingerprints back on what you just washed. little stringers might as well but you don't necessarily have to wash all these guys that probably won't show a fingerprint too badly okay so now that my piece is washed I'm ready to glue and I'm just going to use regular old Elmer's and less is more on the glue just a little dab to connect And if you have a little bit oozing out, that's okay. That's going to burn off in the kiln. If you can get a little bit off with a little piece of paper towel, 
that's okay too. All right, looks good. So the last step now is going to be drawing my piece. So it looks exactly like how it does now. I'm going to draw that square and my triangle at the right angle within it, my stringers up here, and my little piece of dichroic is right there. Now I'm going to label. This is a black stringer. And this is a black piece of glass. This is a yellow piece of glass. After I've got my whole piece designed, and I've labeled all of the elements the best of my ability. I am going to pick which way is up. So I need to decide, do I want it facing this way or this way? I think that this way is up. So I'm going to draw a little triangle where I want my bail to go. Okay, and I'm gonna say, hmm, I think, well, I've got some gold dichroic on there. I think gold might look nice. Or maybe your Ophelia girl is like silver better. So you wanna put a silver bail on. So I'm going to write gold bail and point to where I want that bail to go so that I know it's glued on in the right location. You don't want to accidentally have your piece upside down because you forgot to write where your bail goes. Okay? So after you've labeled really, really well, we're just going to tape our pieces to our plate. You're going to get just a little bit of this. This is just blue painter's tape. Tear off a little piece and make a roll like so. Stick it underneath your piece and just stick it right there on your plate next to your design, okay? At this point, you're going to, we're gonna let the pieces dry. Your Ophelia mentors will bring them back to our studio where we will put them in our kiln and they will be fused into one piece of glass. So this is our kiln over at the studio. This is a Scott firebox and I have elements in my kiln up here. This is basically like a super hot toaster oven. If you've ever seen the inside of a toaster, these elements, these coils of wire are going to get really hot. And the whole kiln is going to raise in temperature to about 1400 degrees. And I'll leave them in there. The glass has to go up in temperature and then cool very slowly so I don't get any cracking. So I'm going to take your pieces of, off your plates. I'm going to arrange them in the kiln. We'll fire the kiln and then your pieces will come out looking something like this. Once we have the pieces out of the kiln, they'll be fused together, similar to this. They'll all be one piece of glass now with just a little bit of dimension where all of the separate pieces of glass were. That's somewhere in between a tack and a full fuse. And your bail will be glued on the back here. You're going to receive your piece like this and a cord, a leather cord will be provided to you. You will put the cord on the piece And make sure you secure the chain here. And this will go inside of your envelope along with all of the information that you received from your Ophelia girl. And it will be presented to her at your luncheon at the end of the year. So um, nice job, girls, and good luck. I hope you enjoyed this process. I definitely did. It's just a great thing and a great gift that you're going to give to your Ophelia sister. And uh, after you've done all of this, then the next phase is you open it this again. And that's your own personal thing. You received all the information from the girl here. Remember that the, the glass that you, the glass piece that you create is created for someone else and you have to look at what she wrote here so that all the pieces that you put together, the colors and everything matches her. And then you're going to write about this process here. You're going to write to your Ophelia sister, as it says here, you know, notes from you to your Ophelia sister. And you're gonna put notes about your experience of creating this piece and how you came about it and how you got to know her through her notes and through creating that piece. I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful project. And I wish you luck. Thank you.